Uh oh. You guys know me, I'm normally a support local guitar shops guy, but I'm in a pinch. I need some 13 gauge guitar strings, so we're coming to the closest guitar shop to me. Guitar Center. There it is. Tyler? Yeah. I'm Travis. I'm, I'm a big fan of the YouTube channel. Oh, thanks, brother. I'm just here to buy some guitar strings, and I ended up getting magnetized over to the guitars. Isn't that how it always happens? Yeah, man. Yeah. Do you make YouTube videos? I do make YouTube videos. Holy. I'm making one right now. <laughs> I'm trying to find 13 gauge strings. I'm trying to find 13s. The highest I can see is 11 so far. Hybrid set maybe? Or maybe this is just the wrong side. Oh, I thought that said 95 gauge. Oh, here we go. Oh, these are acoustic though. But down here, I guess you could say these are 13s, even though they're for an 8 string. So I might have to go with these if I can't find anything else. Do you guys, if you guys sell 13 gauge strings? Uh, only, thi life? only thing I could find was an 8 string set. That oh, these are 13s. Whoa. Um, it took you two seconds to find them. Was it like the thickest strings? Pop yeah, string? that's what I, I had this 8 string one that. Because you could use this and go 13 to 59. So I think that's like. That gets like stupid heavy. Thank you for your help. Yeah. yeah. All right. Got the strings. Very nice people there in the uh, Nashville Guitar Center. Highly recommend visiting sometime. But now it's time to go string up the 13s, baby. Okay, I've made it back to the laboratory. Let's go ahead and conduct the experiment that I've wanted to conduct since I learned that Stevie Ray Vaughan used 13 gauge guitar strings. I'm going to be picking out from my collection the strattiest sound that I have access to. And I actually have a Fender Strat, but I'm gonna be using my Ernie Ball Cutlass because it's easier to adjust the action and playability of the guitar due to the exposed truss rod adjuster in front of the neck. I'm going to be using E flat for the common tuning between the 10 gauge standard strings and the 13 gauge insanely heavy strings, just to keep things realistic as far as the heavier tuning goes. And I am going to be using 10 to 52 gauge, which is like a light top heavy bottom standard string set so that is going to allow me to have less jangling on the lower pitch tuning for the standard strings and then of course the heavier 13 gauge strings will probably be very conducive to that E flat tuning so without further ado string change montage <laughs> That sounds delightful. Now let's switch to some 13s and I'll play a little bit on there and give you my thoughts and then, well, I'll compare side by side and see if you can hear a tonal difference and then bring it all home with a nice little jam at the end featuring both string sets. Something tells me my fingers are going to hurt after this. 
Okay, so I got the 13 gauge strings on, but I think there's an issue because um, that bridge is supposed to be like, it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be flat. And uh, I've made adjustments uh, as best I can, and I've come to the conclusion that this action is unplayable. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research as to what Stevie Ray Vaughan played as far as the bottom strings. Pretty sure it wasn't a 65 gauge. All right, so according to this website, that is the setup of strings that Stevie Ray Vaughan played, which might explain why my guitar was nowhere close to being able to handle those DR strings. So here's what I've come up with. I have luckily a bunch of different strings at my disposal here and I'm leaving the 13 on my guitar and then I'm taking a 16 from this string set, I'm taking an 18 from this string set and I'm taking a 28 and 38 from that string set and I'm replacing the A string of this string set. So basically what was the A string I'm putting that where the E string should go and hopefully that works. Well, there's definitely some more tension to work against, but it's not as distressing as I would have thought. That's hard. So definitely have to make adjustments for the bends. is actually easier to play with the heavy gauge. I kind of like this. It sort of constricts you from overplaying a note. You know, like sometimes you can press too hard and the note goes out of tune or the chord goes out of tune. This sort of encourages you to play more violently, <laughs> which I think is inherently in my nature to kind of play with a little bit more aggression. So, hmm, this may be conducive to my guitar playing. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, you gotta work for those. 